In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Doomsday Machine by Cadaver. My name is Jared, and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Thanks for checking out the video. Let's get right into it. We are in E, standard tuning. So tune up, and let's do it. Here's the first half of riff number one. Just really cool riff. Starts on the fifth fret on the A string. I'm gonna hammer up to the seventh fret and kind of establish the groove. Next measure, we're gonna go seven open, then down to the low E string, three, two open. From there, we're gonna go right back to where we started, fifth fret on the A string, then seven. And this is really cool. We get to go fifth fret on the D string, give a little, little bend here. Here's the first half one more time. So good. Here's the second half of the riff, essentially the same riff. We're just not gonna go up to that to that tasty bend here on the fifth fret. So here's the second half. The very last time we play the phrase, we're gonna kind of foreshadow the next part of the song and do a slide from the 10th fret down to the seventh fret. So I'll play riff number one the, the very last time all the way through and end it with that slide. Just before going into riff number two, we got ourselves a bass fill here. We're gonna, it's a trill from seven to nine. So that's quick hammer-ons and pull-offs. I always think Tony Iommi when I, when I hear trills. Very cool, really breaks up that intro, gets us ready for the riff number two. Riff number two comes in at 35 seconds and starts the same way that riff number one ended with this slide from 10 down to seven. From there, we're gonna ride the root note, establish the groove, this new kind of feel. From there, we're gonna slide from five back up to seven. Here's the two parts put together. Second time we go through the riff, the phrase ends with this kind of pentatonic run, starting on the ninth fret on the D string, then seven five on the A string, finishes seventh fret on the E string. Here's riff number two, I'll play it one time around and end it with that fill. Mm -hmm. 
We play the riff another couple times, and we're going to end it with a different fill. Here's the first half of the fill. It starts on the D string, 14th fret. Here's the second half of the fill. It starts on the A string, 12th fret. Really cool. 12 up to 14. And then we jump to the 14th fret on the D string. Then play that same note again, then finishes 12th fret on the high string. Here's riff number two, this time with that new fill, this 12th, 14th fret. Three comes in at 1 minute 23 seconds during the chorus, and it's going to start back on the 7th fret A string. It's going to go 7, 10, 5. From there, it goes down to the low E string, where we kind of walk up the pentatonic scale. 3rd fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. Here's what we got so far. Then we do this nice bluesy fill. Uh, it's going to be five up to seven. Then we're going to go fifth fret A string, fifth fret D string. And I just do like kind of a mini bar here with my first finger. Then it's back to our root note. And we go into the second half of the riff. But before we get there, let's check out what we got so far. <laughs> really cool. From there, we go 7th fret, this time down to 5 and up to 10. From the 10th fret, we're going to go down to the E string. It's going to go 5th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. The riff ends with this really cool tag. It's going to be 5th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the A string. Just goes back and forth. Here's the riff all the way through. Last time we play this riff, we're going to switch it up a little bit, and it really sets us up to go back into riff number one. So I'll play through it, then we'll check it out. <laughs> really cool. We come down to the third fret E string. Let it hold for a measure and a half. Then we do this. That's three, three, four, five. From there we go third fret A string. Up a perfect fifth here to the fifth fret. Back down to the fifth fret A string. Then we're back in. Here's the end of that riff one more time. This is so much fun to play. Before getting into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world to me and makes all these lessons happen. Thank you so much. Riff number four comes in at two minutes and four seconds during the guitar solo. Here it is nice and slow. Really 
cool. Does a quick modulation, so we actually change keys. It's gonna start eighth fret, slides down to the fifth fret. From there, we go open to three. Then it's back up to five. Just before we modulate back into the original key, we're gonna end with this really neat pentatonic phrase here. It's fifth fret, back up to the eighth fret on the low E. Then it's five seven on the A, ends fifth fret. Then we're back in. Here's riff number four all the way through, nice and slow. So much fun to play. Riff number five comes in during the outro at four minutes and four seconds. Here's the first part. This is killer. It's gonna start out a couple low E's and make sure you cut these off so it's like really, really quick and punchy. Then it's our pentatonic run from earlier in the song, five, seven, five, seven. Get that fifth fret up here, back to the root. Next part of the riff, it's gonna be a little syncopation here on the seventh fret on the D string. Back to that fifth. Here's what we got so far. Same nice choppy uh, staccato feel here. So much fun. Next part of the riff, we're gonna change feel a little bit. <laughs> this is this is great. It's gonna be starts the same way. Then we're walking down the pentatonic scale here. So that's seven five on the A. Then seven five three, open on the on the low E. Then we go back up to that nice punchy seventh fret up here. Last time we play the riff, instead of doing the syncopation, we're gonna just kind of ride it. Really cool. I'm gonna play the outro up to full speed, but before I do. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This will let YouTube know that this video rules and will show it to more fans of Cadaver just like us. Mm -hmm.